So what we've done here is we've compiled uh, a list of all the crazy ass fucking batshit poo poo weirdo Michael Myers Halloween theories. You've been at Reddit? And we thought we would myth bust this Got shit. Got subreddit. Tonight. Yeah, I went deep into it. So thanks to everybody on Facebook. Thanks to everybody on Reddit who we went to and we asked, what's some crazy Michael Myers theories that you guys have heard? We're going to go through them one by one and give our thoughts on them. Are you ready? Whoa! Shit. Got that young bike! <laughs> Yeah, me too. Wheeling and dealing, limousine riding, hot jet flying, <laughs> steel kissing, woo wee, son of a bitch. If you remember in Halloween three, the fucking dude, the dudes in the suits, the boards, yeah, the silver shamrock boards, they walk into Doctor Chalice's. Hey, that thing. motherfucker sets himself on fire. <laughs> Goes out into the into the car, just pours gasoline on himself in a very Michael Myers ish way. Lights himself on fire. Was he listening? This girl is on fire. <laughs> It makes sense in a way, okay, because it's after Halloween 2, where Michael is blown up, Loomis is dead or whatever. So in this theory, Michael Myers died in the explosion, but Silver Shamrock made, after the events of Halloween 3, made a Michael Myers Borg, which is the one that you see when he gets super unkillable in Halloween 4, yeah. 5, and the following movies. What do you say, you fuck? Nah. I mean, he's not like fucking Data from Star Trek. <laughs> like, I, like, even though he looked like Data from Star Trek in Halloween 4, I, uh, I I could buy into that theory a little bit, but then at the same time, it's like the whole idea behind Michael Myers is he's a human being that just fucking snapped. He ain't no soundbite. He snapped, motherfucker. He stabbed them titties of his sister, and he didn't give a shit. That's what's scary about him. I don't I don't like the idea or, or even really accept the idea that he was just programmed afterwards mm -hmm. and, like, brought back to life as a fucking men in black, like, pale face thing that yeah. just did the orders of, of the bad guy from RoboCop. Now, honestly, none of these none of these theories that we're going to go through make any sense, like, as far as, like, were they legit? Like, did John Carpenter have this in his mind no. when he wrote the movie? No. These are just fun, like, okay, what if this? Like, obviously, this isn't the actual case because John Carpenter did not write Michael will, Myers in this fashion. But I would say but, if they wanted to fuck with that and make it, like, an offshoot kind of story, I would be yeah. totally into it. It's the, the thought that Michael Myers died in Halloween 2 in the explosion is very interesting, but then how do you explain Nothing can kill it except Axe body spray. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Here, here's how you how you deny that myth right there. There's okay, fine. That explains Michael Myers. But how the fuck did Loomis survive it? If Loomis can survive that that giant explosion, then Michael can too. Well, so that makes no. Loomis isn't a fucking silver shell. No, I, I think it's his nuts buoyed him from death. <laughs> he had such big balls it buoyed him from death. So I'm gonna say I got, we're in agreement. I, I don't. I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not to it. that one. Michael Myers is not. That's no for me, dog. Created by Silver Shamrock. But I like where you were headed on that one. The next one, though. The idea is that Michael Myers in Halloween Resurrection had underground tunnels, just yeah. like they worked with in Us, and that what happened is when Michael Myers was, was a young boy, right before he killed Judith, he was switched out with his tethered from the movie Us, and he's just one of those fucking Us people. No. <laughs> I just, I, I hate it so bad. I, I swear to God. Just no. The way I heard that theory, I, like, it's kind of cool, I guess, but I, when, if somebody was talking to me to my face, I'd be going, <laughs> what have you drank? <laughs> you, you can, That's just ridiculous. You can try to make, you can try to make that argument, but it's just, I don't want that. Like, Us came so many years later, and yeah. Us is a good horror movie, but it, it, it is, can, in no way well, should ever be the prerequisite for the classic that is hell of fucking and, and I get what they were going for. Us was about the idea that they switched people, and then those, you know, they, they were fucking insane, and they did... But god damn, you just reaching for star, child. There is nothing up there except for dream. And let me kill it for sure right here. The thing about the tethered people in us is they were killable. They died. Mm. When they were fucking slaughtered, they died. They when, when I put but, you down, you'll stay down. But maybe, you'll stay down. Maybe they use a super tether. <laughs> it doesn't explain how Michael Myers wasn't killed when he was shot all those times in Halloween 4 and thereby going forward it's like, and staying alive. Those, those, those tethered people were killable and Michael Myers, by all Cinderita, is not. Mm. It's like when they make those theories up. It's like, yeah, that little guy, just don't worry about that little guy. Like, that's not even a big <laughs> that's deal. That's stupid, Greg. So, what, what are you saying, essentially, that they are just clones? Yeah, except what if he can't die? So, like, I didn't get that far in my research, so just ignore it.
which programmed his brain to go crazy and it, become Michael That kind of relates back to one. In a way, because the Silver Shamrock thing. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's cool. I, I thought, I swear to God, I thought you were like, it's actually the mask from the store that that little girl bought in Goosebumps, the mask. <laughs> the, the, like, the mirror mask. Like yeah, yeah, it was like, it's been a green goblin. It, like, yeah, it existed forever. No. Uh, but yeah, I, I, no. Well, for one, it was a tiny, if you look, go back and you look at Halloween, the tiny was little Michael Myers the only one that bought it? Because it was so, like, not popular. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, nobody else one. did this <laughs> shit. And it was also a cheap little terrible plastic mask. It didn't look nearly to the quality of the other Silver Shamrock masks. And you might say that was earlier in their career when they started. Oh, well, we don't have them back here. But, but again, yeah. whenever one of the oh, kids one. wearing that masks saw the commercial, they immediately, their face melted and turned to fucking snakes. Michael Myers could have just been stalking someone in their house, and that commercial played every five goddamn minutes. So yeah. like, three more days till Halloween! Imagine, like, you were halfway through Halloween 4, and he's stalking through with that, that commercial. God comes damn! On, and then his mask just melts and the movie ends? No, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. I don't like it. I say nay, and I move to strike. I can't do it with you right now. No to that theory as well. I so got a headache. We're 0 for 3 so far on the theories. The next theory is that Michael has CIP, a rare condition where he is impervious to pain. Is he down with OPP? <laughs> yeah, you know me. Yeah. But the, the idea is here is that Michael uh, has that, that, rare, <laughs> that rare disease where he cannot oh feel any pain, which is why he can survive why he takes the shots and the stabs and the stuff that he has. Oh my God. This one's easily put to bed because even if you have that disease where you can't feel pain, you still fucking die if yeah, you bleed you get, out. Yeah, if you, get, if you get busted in the nuts and your, your sack is bleeding out all over the fucking carpet, you're gonna die. If you get stabbed in the neck by a clothes hanger, you're gonna like, die. I don't dog. feel a thing. Oh. You still fucking he, die. He was so young and beautiful. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> Also, uh, it, it, it kind of reminds me of that M. Night Shyamalan uh, Invincible shit. Like, there are superheroes among us and could be villains, too. Like, I don't know. I, I just don't like it. I just don't. Yeah. I, I feel like it's a half-cooked idea. But again, if you blow... Like, you might have that disease. Like, you might not be able to feel pain. That'd be a shitty disease. That exists. Well, sometimes it'd be good. Other times it would suck. Yeah. Because you're, like, you're bleeding you out of your asshole and be like, I feel fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In Halloween 2019, where you see her drinking, screaming, uh, just our Saturday night, yeah. watching Michael Myers get put onto the bus, the next thing you see is the bus is wrecked and all that shit happens. So the theory here is that Lori actually caused the bus to wreck because she wanted Michael Myers to escape so she could kill him. It actually checks out. It makes sense. And I think it's there's a small chance that in ha Halloween kill or ha Kills or Halloween Ends, she reveals that she's the one that caused the bus crash. Because, again, there's got to be a reason why well, we never she, saw it happen. I mean, she obviously is, is fucking psychopathic and not just for... Activia. Uh, yeah, I was going to say Oval Team for some reason. But, yeah, Activia, <laughs> she doesn't, she's, she loves that. I can't match your poop! But I, I, she did mention the fact that she wanted him to escape. Mm -hmm. And she wished for him to escape. Mm -hmm. And she always hoped that he would. So it wouldn't make sense that if she was already buying into her psychosis. Because at that point, she's probably fucking... She looked crazy as shit in, in, in the 2018 Halloween. She was cool. I mean, she was a cool character or whatever. It makes sense where she was and why she was what she is. Yeah. But at the same time, if you're, like, developed this much of a psych psychotic thought and you weren't taking medication for it, then to make your own, like, vengeful desire and dream come true, you would sabotage uh, a... You would sabotage oh, a no, bus... y'all. It's sabotage. Sabotage. <laughs> Uh, that was the worst. Uh, uh, but you would you would you would sabotage the bus and and release him out into the wild so yeah. you could hunt him. So that I could I could go with that. I'm with that one. That one's gonna get a check mark for me because she even says if for years I prayed that he would escape. Yeah. And they're like why? That's as, that's so crazy as people him. believing that uh, Kurt Cobain really killed himself. Yeah, I think there's a small small tiny dick chance that. In one of these sequels, she reveals that she actually caused the bus wreck, and that's why they didn't show it. <laughs> This one's stupid as shit. This is the dumbest. I want to hear it. The theory here is that at the end of Halloween 2018, mm -hmm. because the camera zooms in to Allison holding the knife, mm -hmm. that Allison is going to take on the mantle of Michael Myers and become the next Michael Myers. Get your fucking scream full ass out of here! <laughs> I don't want to hear that <laughs> shit. Poor Andy Matichak has got to carry the mantle of Michael Myers for the rest first of his off, career. First off, dog, you can't stack up. You ain't. 
<laughs> nearly ready. <laughs> and second, they already pulled that shit with Halloween 4 at the yeah. end with Jamie, so that shit's not gonna work. And you know yeah. why they abandoned that idea? Because they're like, that's fucking stupid! Yeah, if you're gonna write shit <laughs> off in the 90s, if they wrote that shit off in the 90s where almost anything fucking went, they're not gonna let that shit play out in yeah, 2020. They, no like, way! They, they ended Halloween 4, and you could say what you want about the way that Halloween 4 ended. Some people liked it. If, they, if that was the last Halloween movie ever, fine. I mean, maybe you can go with, like, it was a classic ending, but it really isn't. Because, like, afterwards, they're like, we gotta make another movie. They were and then, like, and like what, what do we got? It's like, well, we got Jamie as the new killer. Like, nope. <laughs> it's like, listen, I was drunk when I wrote that part. We have to start over. Well, what actually happened is, and, and, and the idea of the movie, like, like that was the the guy who wrote that. That was his plan. The dude he said he says it in one of the Halloween documentaries. When 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 she's got the knife there, and 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 Lewis is like, no, yeah. ah! no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 he wanted that to happen, though. The writer who wrote the ending of Halloween 4 wanted Jamie to carry on the mantle, but, uh, you know, Maleka Cod, Trancus, they all were like, fuck that shit. That's Thank terrible. God. We're not doing it. No, you can leave this store right now, sir. They weren't going to do with that. There was no chance in fuck they were going to take Allison and make her the killer. They might as well make Sartain the fucking killer. By the way, they tried. In 2018, when he put on that mask, all of our buttholes Dude, fucking shrank. At that point, I, 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 was having, I was having such a great time with the movie, and then I'm like, <laughs> as soon as he put on the mask, like, fuck you! Like I got mad at shit. I was like, if Dude, it, if it, uh, I me think, and Cody all got so scared. I, we looked at each other like, <gasps> I was like, it's like we gotta do something. You guys were doing such good job, and then all of a sudden, you allowed the drunken midget from the circus across the street to come in. <laughs> I'm a doctor. Like firecrackers at his ass and say, let's have a party. <laughs> like what is Look happening? Look at my powerful mustache. I'm a doctor. Lock your doors. Yeah, dude. I, but thank God they abandoned that idea and yeah. we got the great one. That is 2018 it's, Halloween. That's a terrible idea. This could be the worst one on the list. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a terrible, terrible theory. Idea. Not gonna happen. Never know, says I, Stephen. Go, 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 fucking. You should follow him on CNN. Eat some corn, you son of a bitch. This is stupid too. Is that Michael in all these movies is somehow wearing a shield of armor underneath his overall? <laughs> is it Mithril? <laughs> is it is it the ancient Mithril that the dwarves created? The Mithril from the Lord of the Rings. The Mithril <laughs> that Michael this entire time has been wearing armor underneath his suit, and that's why he doesn't die when he gets shot. Or yeah, and you know like you know he he gets his shit from fucking Punisher. Frank Castle gives him this shit. <laughs> what would the sea shanty guy in Halloween Five would have done with that? He would have picked it apart, like, oh, I'm gonna put this on my windowsill. <laughs> No, no. This will protect my parents. Not only did the guy in part five like change his mask, he's like, you know what I think this 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 uh, man needs is Kevlar vests. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some Kevlar vests on his body as well. So when he wakes up, he will be well protected to move into the well. <laughs> Granted, you don't see Michael Myers bleed much or even see his wounds up until maybe 2018. Because he's supernatural, he's probably got a healing factor like Logan. The fact that Michael Myers, this fucking being who just, like, he doesn't even think about what he wears. He just rolls shit. He's staring at a window for 15 goddamn years. I don't think he's going to go and take a time out of his day to wrap fucking Kevlar around his arm. No, That's first stupid. Off, the motherfucker wouldn't even know what Kevlar was. He'd think it was a fucking foot long from Dairy Queen. <laughs> Dr. Loomis is actually the character Sam Loomis from Psycho. You remember the character Sam Loomis from Psycho? He mm -hmm. was hell-bent on protecting his girlfriend. And as everybody knows, John Carpenter actually was a fan of that movie, mm -hmm. and he used Sam Loomis. It was the, the character of Dr. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Loomis was an ode to the character of Sam Loomis. It was a nice Easter egg there, but some people think that Dr. Loomis is actually the same person that was... Sam Loomis in Psycho, and the idea here is that he couldn't protect his girlfriend, he couldn't save her, so he decided to serve his life towards protecting other people, became a psychologist later in his life, and that's act Dr. Loomis is actually Sam Loomis from Small Pleasantville, from um, Psycho. Yeah. Uh, listen, I couldn't stop the piece of shit from dressing up in his mama's clothes and killing people. So I'm gonna say I, possible. I wanted to stop the guy from dressing in a weird William Shatner mask and killing people. Guess what? I failed both times. They're pieces of shit. No, I, I, love it. I would say uh, I could play. Yeah, you could play around with that idea, but at the same time, like they don't look anything remotely alike. Like he was so young then, though it's hard to tell. They don't even look like even close, like resembling each other. <laughs> I don't know, you can play with the idea behind it, it's pretty good. If they wanted to go back and connect the Psycho universe with Michael Myers, that would be a good linchpin to do it. I honestly wouldn't be, and again, 
the main thing I want to say well, about God like, damn, he aged bad though. Like if John Carpenter read any of these theories, like almost any of these theories, I guarantee he would just throw up in his fucking Cheerios. Because anytime someone comes to John Carpenter with some shit like this, like, hey John, what do you think about the theory that blah blah blah? He's like, I was, he was like, it was a fucking movie. He's always kind of had that like standoffish, like yeah. chill the fuck out. It was a movie. It was what it was. Calm the fuck down. He's always had that reaction. But this is the one thing I could all, almost see John Carpenter being like, yeah, actually, in my mind, it was him. I think Which would blow people's fucking ganges. But here's the thing also. That I, would make Psycho the first Halloween movie. It would be cool, but at the, what? Same, I, at the same time, I think that in a lot of ways that John Carpenter would be... Look, directors like him and Wes Craven before, you know, and, and Romero, those guys that created these universes of their own. Like, Alfred Hitchcock was Alfred Hitchcock. And he might be like, look, I don't, I'm not trying to compare myself to Alfred Hitchcock. Like, I mean, I'm not like a fanboy trying to suck his dick behind an alleyway sometimes. You know, like, this is my movie. I paid a tribute to him. I'm not trying to connect my universe yeah. with him. And if Alfred Hitchcock was around, he'd be like, no, fuck yeah. that. Psycho is its own thing. I think Alfred Hitchcock would be like insulted. Like, he's like, you're not going to tie my movie with something like that. Basically, where we're heading here is if anybody ever gets to interview John Carpenter, which ask not many of that. us will, I think that's a really good question to ask. I'd like to see someone look John Carpenter. I'd be scared of shit, dude. I wouldn't. If I ever interviewed John Carpenter, my fucking, uh, my butthole would be sucked in, John. But I would have balls like pellets. I'd be scared to death, but I would ask that question. I'd be like, answer me this. Is there any truth to the fact, or to the, is there any truth to the rumor that, that Dr. Loomis is actually Sam Loomis, not just an ode to Sam Loomis from Psycho, but he is Sam Loomis for Psycho. I would love to hear John Carpenter's answer to that. What if he looked at you and he was like, so you think that I can't do better than Alfred Hitchcock? Yeah, he would probably shit on your and fucking like, So you, you come here and ask me about another movie. John Carpenter would probably whip out his dick <laughs> and literally piss in your fucking cordial breakfast and he like, from the suck fucking it. diet. And you're like, okay. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. What I'm are sorry. you saying, John? I, I'm sorry, man. Just like the Halloween novelization, you remember we did a yeah. whole video on this, which I'll put a link to right here. In the novelization of Halloween, the whole idea was that way back in the day, right before the Celtic race, there was this bonfire and this dude like this girl, but she was dancing in the fire with another girl, or with another dude. He became enraged with jealousy. He killed him. The, the, the whole uh, community put a curse on him. And in the book, the Halloween novelization, that curse found not only Michael Myers, I think great grandpa, and he he shot every child, every male child of the Myers family. But then also found Michael Myers, and in the book, that's what it was. It was an ancient Celtic curse that found Michael all these years later on Sam Hain. That was based off like in oh, I can't remember their names, but you go watch the video, you see what it is. I, I gotta give that one a check mark just because it's in the novelization. It is. It's kind of cool, I guess, but it's it's so comic booky at that point. Then it's like you're making up a Marvel villain or a DC villain that has supernatural powers from a curse, like the witch thing from Super Suicide Squad. Like yeah. it's just an ancient curse that's walked around on two legs for a long time. I get that it works in a way, but at the same time, I just feel like it's also taking away from the fact that what is scary about Michael Myers is the fact we don't like really the, based on John Carpenter's vision we yeah. don't know if he's superhuman or not. he seems like he is but you don't know and that's scary and it could just be pure evil like Loomis is saying there is no like it's not like there's no rhyme or reason he's just evil but and and like so I think the idea that him having an ancient Celtic curse put on his family and the, you know in the novelization I think they even talk about the fact that the Myers family had not had a male child in a long time and then that particular male child was going to inherit that demonic curse I feel like it's just going too far into some kind of comic book territory because then you gotta it's like a whole I don't know connective universe with all these like dark side shit and like the omega beams and apocalypse and all. I, I feel like it's a cool concept but the fact that the reason why it was probably left out is because there's just so much you would have to do a goddamn it's like Conan the Barbarian mm. well I think and James L. Jones would talk up and narrate. I think it's a pretty easy version of Halloween to imagine where it could have been just a budget reason why they didn't do it. Now, I, do I like this? I don't want Michael Myers explained, so I want to say I want to say no, but I think that this is actually a possibility. It's almost the unspoken, uh, because again, it was in the Halloween novelization. I think it's almost the unspoken origin of Michael Myers that nobody ever really talks about. But I think this one's got to get a check mark for possible. You know, yes. You know what? I kind of, I'm kind of reminded of the very opening of The Exorcist, though. They show them digging out the mm -hmm. shit, the ancient mm -hmm. runes. Mm -hmm. But then again, I was like, if you showed that, it'd be almost like copying it, because then you would just be like, he's just another poor kid that's possessed by a demonic entity, and like you need to exorcise the demon and get that shit out of his butthole. 
Right. So like, then it kind of like because the, the, the whole. I know weird it'd be if an exorcist tried to exercise Michael Myers instead of Loomis, like in the in Smith's Grove. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like you could make you could probably make cares. a whole fucked up movie like that. That'd be a nice fan plot. That's the kind of shit a fan film should do. Father cares. See, this is what we do here, man. We just came up with so something with for you ideas, fans to dude. run away with and fucking have a ball. So we got three possible yeses, and that's that's a that's a high amount for for these fan theories. But uh, from here, it only gets worse. <laughs> the funny thing about this theory is this: this is the best. Is that he can speak, and sometimes throughout the series, he takes off his mask mm. and shows up in the background as other characters, and like. <laughs> directs people where he wants to go. For instance, in Halloween 4, the theory is that in Halloween 4, he's the guy that points out Ted Hollister in the bushes. He's like, there, it's Michael in the bushes right there. And he gets hit, Ted Hollister killed because he's the one who said he was back so, there. So, <laughs> so, so, basically, no, so, so basically, what you're saying <laughs> is like this is Batman Court of Owls. <laughs> Like, he's been always there and directing the flow of Haddonfield forever. Like, there's an underground society, and, like, he's been directing it by disguising himself as different people and no, leading it's just, it's the not, town folk. It's not even that deep. It's just, like, it's like if a serial killer did it. But, like, sometimes, like, okay, so he goes into a phone booth, and he takes off his mask Dude, and his own rolls, and he come, he puts on some redneck shit. And the idea is, like, it, like in Halloween 4, he was with the mob in Halloween 4, and he was like, and Michael Myers is the guy who was like, What's that there in the bushes? And everybody shot him, and then Michael Myers ran off and put his mask back Dude, on. If that ever happened, I would quickly <laughs> not become a Halloween fan. I, I would leave. That's Roy Burns to the fucking I, umpteenth. The man. fact that he would be like, yeah, and then he ran like he was your, he was your, he, he was the guy that ran your local bank and would exchange money for At you. this point, he's not pure evil. He's just one of the greatest serial killers of all time. He would he's be, Kevin Spacey in Seven. He, fucked up. He smart. would be. He would be the best Jack the Ripper of all time. <laughs> I love that. I love that theory so much. It's fucking. I, I just say no, but it's, yeah. I mean, I, I, I say no on on multiple levels of like no. <laughs> the last one is probably the dumbest one, but it's also intriguing. Is that Michael Myers is actually Chucky? Now well, here's, I don't know how the fuck that happens. Well, it's actually it makes a little bit of sense. Is that somehow somewhere in between the end of the Chucky main films and the first Halloween movie? Yeah. Um, uh, Charles Lee Ray mm -hmm. somehow gets out of Chucky's body and possesses young Michael Myers. And then young Michael Myers on that fateful night in 1978 in Halloween is possessed by Charles Lee Ray. And that's who we've got as Michael Myers the rest of the time. The question is, is okay, well, Chucky loves to talk. Charles Lee Ray loves to speak. You know what I mean? So why isn't he talking? Well, I, yeah, and not to mention the fact it's already incomplete. Incomplete. I feel like Russell Crowe. Incomplete. <laughs> because he killed the first time in the 60s. Charles Lee Ray wasn't even fucking killing. Late 60s, he killed his sister. If you look at the timeline, it makes no sense automatically. No, like right away. It already falls apart because Charles Lee Ray wasn't even fucking killing until the 70s. Yeah. He killed his sister in the 60s and yeah. then was locked up. So it's obviously a no, Dick. So that's like not even close to the fucking like, it can't even happen. Like, there's not even a possibility for that happening. Yeah, you'd have to really I think he killed the timeline. He killed Judith like in the late 60s. She's no Sharon Stone. Yeah, so <laughs> if you, you can't do that at all. Like that, 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 that just falls out the window. I did hear one theory, and it's a bonus theory, but I'll talk about it anyway. The fact that Loomis was the cause for Michael Myers being a serial killer. That was on my list, and I totally skipped it. Okay. Well, yeah, Loomis being the cause of Michael Myers' uh, like serial killer rampage. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. That guy was already crazy. He decided to take it upon himself as a six-year-old child and brutally murder his sister. Like, stab her titties, like, I don't know how many times, Ooh. like a Kevorkian. That's, and, the, the, the idea of the theory, though, is that... Is that Michael was in Loomis's care, and Loomis was so obsessed that Michael was purely, simply evil that he projected the idea as a psychiatrist, because psychiatrists can fuck with their brain, yeah. that he projected the idea that Michael was this unstoppable evil killer into young Michael Myers' brain, and then Michael Myers just believed it, sucked that shit in, that Loomis is actually the cause for Michael Myers being this unstoppable murderer, but it, like you said, it's easily put to bed because he murdered Judith before he ever fucking met Loomis. By the so way, that's stupid. Take responsibility for yourself. Don't blame everybody else. <laughs> but Loomis even says at one point he was like he spent six years trying to reach him, and then another seven trying to ke keep him locked up because he realized that was what you know he had pure evil in him. The thing is. He spent six years as a pretty decently accomplished psychologist or psychiatrist to reach this boy, and whatever it was, whatever happened in those six years was enough to convince him that he can never get out. 
There's something fucking wrong with him. And, and so you take six years. That's a that's a you know. So by the time Michael was 12, he's like, there's something fucking wrong with this kid. Like it's not like there's something like kind of wrong. And and Loomis at this point, I think that Loomis was. Like, he wasn't like the hippie bullshit Malcolm McDowell fake Loomis, you know, I, I don't care, I like fucking David Bowie, the way they made him look in Rob Zombie. Like, I'm sure that he was like... Give me a sweet tea! He studied hard, and, and he did his thing, and he was a, a pretty accomplished psychiatrist at that point. And they recommended this case, and he did his best with it, but there was something, something wrong and broken with Michael Myers to a point where he was like, listen, if this motherfucker gets out... It's on your hands. I feel like he was like Batman in a way. Victor Zaz is a character that I think equates a lot. Not not necessarily. I'm not saying Victor Zaz is Michael Myers, but Batman knows Victor Zaz, a guy that carves fucking like you know things into his arms and his body about how many people he's killed, and he's covered with tattoos about how many people he's killed. He knows that guy will never be ever sane. He's pure fucking instinct to kill. Joker is the same way. I think that, uh, in a way, that Loomis was like, he's kind of like Batman. He's like, look, so you can't treat the motherfucker. You can't fix him. He's broken on a level that I can't describe to you. Sure, sure. I, I mean, absolutely. But the idea that Loomis is, is the one that put that in Michael's mind, that he was this badass fucking killer, like Buster Rock well, not says. For the, Michael Myers in a sound bite. He still killed his sister and stabbed her all those times before he ever met Dr. Loomis in the first place. So clearly Dr. Loomis is not the cause for what Michael Myers was, and that fucking case is denied in the courts. Look, you two make me sick. All you had to do was play zookeeper to the monkey till the monkey died of old age. What would I have to do? You make me sick. But here's the, yeah, like, I don't know, but I, I just feel like, like I feel, I feel like it's, it's putting too much blame on Loomis to, you, it's pretty much saying like, you created a monster when the fact that the reality is, in the six years, he tried to treat a kid, and he couldn't do it, and then he was like, listen, I can't treat him, yeah. I can't cure him, but if this motherfucker gets out, he's going to kill again. You're fucked. So I'm going to go ahead and put him at seven, yes! <laughs> if it was seven times seven, I have 49. So that is all the fucking wackadoo, crazy Michael Myers theories out there. Actually, three to four of them make a little bit of sense and could possibly... It's actually more, yeah. Follow through. Surprisingly, a lot of them are dumber than shit, but you decide, <laughs> comment down Reddit, below, so. which one of these theories do you guys think actually sticks the most and actually makes the most sense to you? But I, I want to say really quick, I know we're dog shitting on some of them, but I got to give you, you know, I got to give it, you know, a hand to uh, the, creati the, the creativeness to the people that actually do that, because that shit is actually deep. The yeah. fact that you sit down and you think about that shit, and you're like, oh, man, that's fucking cool, man. Like, I couldn't, like, some of that shit, I was like, I never even would have thought of that. So what Chucky makes the thing, franchise so fun? The Chucky thing, I'd be like, you smoked too much crack today, didn't you? <laughs> but other than that, it's it, everything else yeah. is pretty decent. Yeah, so, and again, super shout out to everybody on our uh, Patreon, Facebook, and everybody on Reddit who helped us out with these and pulled these up. A lot of these came from a Screen Run article. We love your fucking faces. Comment down below with your all's thoughts. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. It gets some goddamn ramp in you. hi -ya! Oh, fucking right. In there, right in there, it came in like a brief fart wind. What are you gonna do on October 31st? What are you gonna do on October 31st? Here comes that white faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits because he's a white faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said, God damn. A lot of people don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said, God damn. God damn you, Michael! What are you gonna do on October 31st?